Assalamu alaikum and salam sejahtera to all of you. So for this week, we are going to continue with chapter number 4. Uh, subtopic is reactions of alkyne. So you have several reactions, okay. Uh, so the first one, you have the additions reactions. So it consists of hydrogenations, halogenations, hydrohalogenations and hydrations. So basically, for these three reactions, it's almost the same than previous chapter, which is additions to the double bond. Okay, so hydrogenations meaning that is a uh, additions of H two, and then halogenations is additions of X two, and then you have hydrohalogenations, so meaning that it is a uh, additions of H X, and last one. Okay, you have hydration, so meaning that additions of water molecule. So for this three, okay, satu, dua, tiga, this one, it depends on the number of mole. So meaning that if you add, okay, you start with triple bond, you add one mole of H2. So from triple bond, they are actually double bond. But if you add another one mole of H2, so from the double bond, okay, you will get your single bond. Same goes to the X2, additions of X2 and also additions of HX. But for the hydration reactions, here memang akan ditambah satu mole sahaja. Okay, but for this, the first three reactions, it could be one more. Okay, so means that from triple bond, jadi double bond. At the point, they are going to tambah two moles. So, for example, plus two H2, okay, two more of hydrogens. So, they are going to stop by single bond. So, it depends on the type of reactions. And last but not least, you have alkylations of salt of terminal alkyne. This one kita dah cover previously dalam topics preparations of alkyne. So for this one, kenapa dia, kenapa this reaction is also considered as reactions? Because your starting materials contain a triple bond. Okay, so kita akan consider this sebagai reactions. And why consider as a preparation? Because you products also consist a triple bond. So for these reactions, alkylations, it could be a preparation of alkyne. It also can be a reaction of alkyne. Okay, so next one for the uh, additions of alkyne, additions reactions. Alkyne, um, just like Alkene because it contains unsaturated um, bonding which is double bond ataupun triple bond. So for alkyne, that is a triple bond. So it will undergo addition reactions okay, because the weak pi bond. Okay, so two sequential reactions take place. So the first one is additions of one equivalent reagent to form an alkene. Okay, the second one is second additions of reagent that will yield an alkene with four new bonding. So, as I mentioned before, satu, si, uh, sorry, pi point you break down, you akan dapat dua sigma point. So, kalau two pi point break down, you akan dapat four sigma point. So, sebab tu you dapat four new bond. Okay, alkan are electron rich and react with electrophile. Okay, so ini maksud dia, if you guna one mole of X and Y from your triple bond, you akan dapat double bond sebab additions of one mole of X and Y. Okay, so if you continue these reactions by adding another one mole of XY, so you will get your single bond. Okay, so formations of four new sigma bond. Okay, so ini empat yang baru. So dalam setiap triple bond, okay, 
the basic bonding is your sigma bond. Okay, bonding yang akan menghubungkan two atoms. Okay, so this one we call as sigma. And then the additional bonding, yang itu kita panggil dia pi bond. Okay, so since dalam triple bond you have two pi bond, so meaning that you have possibility untuk form four new sigma bond. Sebab dia ada dua pi bonding. Tapi kalau dalam double bond, you memang ada satu sigma, satu pi bond. So meaning that maximum number of sigma bond can be four is only two. Because one pi bond, okay, so that you can produce only two sigma bond. Okay, so as for example, okay, reactions of pentine, okay, plus with HX, okay. So, kalau soalan dia cuma tulis HX, which is tak ada perkataan excess, ataupun uh, more than one mole, or dia tulis 2HX, okay, if tak ada this kind of word, ataupun reference ke yang menunjukkan alkyl react with more than one uh, molecule of reagents so mean that from triple bond product you akan jadi double bond sebab satu mol meaning that satu sahaja pi bonding yang akan break down so satu pi bonding break down it will produce two new sigma bond so, as usual, color terminal, which is kat sini ada satu hydrogen. Yang tengah ni kosong hydrogen ataupun tak ada hydrogen. So, you can ikut Markovnikov rules. As long as dia berkaitan dengan additions reactions, dia mesti kena ada Markovnikov rules. Color you uh, punya reactions tu is related to elimination reactions. So, dia akan involve dengan set itself rules. Okay. So, this one additions meaning that from unsaturated bonding which is double bond ataupun triple bond. Okay. So, dia akan jadi single bond. Okay. Ataupun jadi double bond. So, elimination meaning that daripada single bond, dia akan jadi double bond ataupun triple bond. So, it depends on conditions. So, these two reactions, whether it is additions ataupun eliminations, you perlukan rules. Okay. Kalau additions memang Markovnikov rules. Kalau eliminations adalah sets of rules. So, same goes to this one. Daripada triple point, you nak jadi double point. Which is kita nak tambah this molecule into the products. So, that's why kita kena follow Markovnikov rule jika perlu. Okay, same goes to set Zeph rule. Jika perlu, kena follow. Jika tak perlu, tak perlulah ikut. So, it depends on the condition. So, kalau maka ni cough rules, dia perlu jika you either unsymmetrical starting material plus dengan unsymmetrical reagents. For the set Zeph rules, okay, you kena tengok kalau kiri dengan kanan you adalah pada carbon yang berbeza. So, you akan ada major dengan minor. Okay. For this one, since kita kena ikut Markovnikov rule, so H awak akan attach pada hujung. So, di sini kita akan attachkan dengan X. Okay, so since dia tak sebut excess ataupun more than one more, so you punya final products akan dalam bentuk double bond. Okay, starting daripada triple jadi double bond. Tapi let's say kalau reaction tu dia kata plus dengan 2HX, so, meaning that kita tahu dia adalah 2 mole. So, maksudnya dia ada 2 mole of HX. So, in total kita ada 4 atom. So, meaning that daripada triple bond, dia akan jadi single bond dengan formation 4 bonding yang baru. Locations mestilah berada pada kawasan yang ada triple Bond. So, dekat situ juga you kena tambah. So, same thing. You kena ikut juga kalau you perlukan Markovnikov rules. You kena apply Markovnikov rule. Tak ada hydrogen. So, one hydrogen. So, dia adalah unsymmetrical. 
H dengan X pun adalah atom yang berbeza. H lain dengan X pun lain. So, dia adalah asymmetrical reagents. So, kena follow Markovnikov rules. So, this is your product. So, product kita akan dapat single bond sebab kita ada empat atom which can be added to your final products. Untuk yang atas ni memang you ada only two atoms. So, meaning that kalau you ada two atoms, only one pi bonding yang akan break down. So, you akan dapat two new sigma bond. Okay, so equivalent lah dengan bilangan atom yang you ada. So, kalau ada dua atom yang nak ditambah, so maksudnya satu saja sigma, sorry, pi bond yang akan diputuskan producing two sigma bond. Okay, same goes to this one since you ada empat atom. Okay, so meaning that uh, possible untuk kedua-dua sigma bond ni diputuskan supaya boleh accommodate this four atoms dalam structure yang baru. This will describe in general whether your alkyne will produce an alkene ataupun reactions of alkyne will produce an alkene. So, it depends totally on the number of more uh, of your reagents. Whether it is one more or it is two moles. Okay, so thank you. Next video, we are going to continue with type of rations. Okay, thank you guys.